Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hasham Ali Khan. In this video, I'm going to explain you about debentures. What are the features of debentures? What are the differences between shares and debentures? Lastly, what are the types of debentures? So in examination, you may get the question regarding what are the different types of debentures or what are the differences between shares and debentures like that. So watch that video till the end to get the complete command so that confidently you can write in examination. So before starting the meaning of the term debentures, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Now, first of all, we'll discuss about the meaning of the term debentures. Debentures may be defined as the written instrument. First of all, debentures should be in writing and acknowledging a debt. The company is acknowledging that we have taken a debt from you. So first of all, debenture is defined as the written instrument which acknowledges the debt issued under the common seal of the company. Only companies can issue debentures that too under its common seal and uh, containing the provisions regarding the payment of interest or repayment of principal and charge on the assets of the company so the company will issue the debentures acknowledging the debt that we have taken the debt and the debentures contain the provisions regarding how much interest to be paid when the principal amount will be repaid and what is the charge of debenture holders against the company and debentures are issued under the common seal of the company. Companies can raise substantial amount from the public by issuing debentures. So a company requires funds, long term funds. There are different methods of raising the long term funds by the company. One of the method is the company can raise the long term funds by issuing debentures to the public. The amount to be raised by way of loan from the public is divided into small units called debentures. The loan amount, the loan amount which is raised from the public is divided into small amounts. Example, the company requires 50 lakh rupees loan. So the company has divided 50 lakh rupees into 5 lakh units, each unit 10 rupees. So this 10 rupees is called debenture. The company issues 5 lakh debentures of rupees 10 each. So the company will get 50 lakh rupees loan from the public. According to section 2, subsection 30 of the Companies Act 2013, it defines debenture includes debenture stock, bonds or any other security, whether containing a charge on the assets of the company or not. That means whatever the bonds or debenture stock issued by the company or any other security issued by the company containing the provision that it has a charge on the assets of the company or not. This is the definition given by section 2 subsection 30 of the Companies Act 2013. Now features of debenture. The first feature it is a debt taken by the company from the public and financial institutions. First of all remember. It is not the own, uh, owner's money, it is the debt. Debt taken by the company from the public or from financial institutions. That means debentures can be issued to the public or debentures can be issued to financial institution. So company has raised the debt. Secondly, general debentures are issued for a long period of time. The company requires long term funds. That's why debentures are long term security. The debenture will not be redeemable in one year or two years. It will be issued for 10 years, 15 years like that. The debenture holders are entitled to receive periodical payment of interest at a fixed rate. The rate of interest. First of all, debentures will carry interest. Just like when the company raises a loan from bank, the company has to pay interest to bank. Similarly, when the company has taken the loan from the public, the company has to pay interest on that loan. So interest on debentures at a fixed rate. Next one is interest on debenture has to be paid irrespective of profit because it is a debt. When the company has taken a debt, 
they have to pay interest whether the company earns profit or incurs loss at any cost the company has to pay interest on debentures debenture holders are entitled for the repayment of the amount lent as per the terms of the contract that means redeemable debentures the company has to return back the principal amount lent by the public as per the provisions of the terms of the issue at the time of issuing the debentures the company has specified that these debentures will be re uh, returned back will be recalled redeemed after 10 years after 15 years next one is debenture holders don't have voting rights so in the functioning of the business only the owners will have the voting power shareholders will have the voting power debenture holders does not have voting power because they are outsiders then generally debenture holders are fixed or floating charge on the assets of the company two types of debentures secured and unsecured that means normally debentures have holders will have a charge on the assets of the company when they have given the loan to the company they want the security without security the public will not come forward to give the loan to the company so company will say you are having a charge on so and so assets of the company so if we do not repay the if we do not repay the loan or delay default in making the payment of interest the debenture holder will have a charge on the assets of the company next uh, so these seven are the features of debentures so i have explained you the meaning of the term debentures and the features now what are the differences between shares and debenture the first a shareholder is for the owner of the company whereas debenture holder is a loan creditor first difference when a person purchases shares he is the owner of the company he is the owner whereas when a person purchases debenture he is a loan creditor he has lent the money as a loan to the company a person who owns a share is called a shareholder and the person who owns debenture is called a debenture holder then a shareholder will get dividend a shareholder when he invests the money in the company become a shareholder he will get the dividend out of the profits of the company out of the profits he will get the dividend whereas a debenture holder a debenture holder has given a loan to the company so he will get interest not dividend then payment of dividend on share is an appropriation of profit when the company pays dividend to shareholder it is appropriation of profit means from the profit to dividend is paid but when interest is paid on debenture interest is not appropriation it is a charge on the profit so interest on debenture is a charge on the profit whereas dividend on equity is an appropriation of profit next one the rate of dividend of shares may vary the rate of dividend to shareholders will vary if there is more profit more dividend to shareholders if there is less profit less dividend to shareholders but the interest to debenture holder will be fixed even if the company incur loss the company has to pay interest on debenture holders there is no priority for the payment of dividend that means the dividend should not be paid first no priority in payment of dividend but there is priority in payment of interest without paying the interest on debenture a company cannot pay dividend cannot pay dividend next one is in case of liquidation liquidation means wound up when the company is wound up first of all debenture holders must be returned back their capital the debenture holders will have priority in getting back their money from the company so after payment of debenture holders then only if amount remains that will go to shareholder next one shareholders have voting rights so in important decisions of the company the shareholders have the voting rights whereas no voting rights available to debenture holders last one shares cannot be converted into debentures there is no convertible shares but there is convertible debentures there may be a type of debentures which can be converted into shares so these are the few differences between shares and debentures the last topic in this video is kinds of debentures debentures can be classified on different basis like on the basis of security we have classified on the basis of permanence we have classified on the basis of priority on the basis of conversion on the basis of recording so in this way we divide the debentures one by one we'll discuss first of all security on the basis of security 
debentures are secured and unsecured. Secured debenture means the debenture holder will have a charge on the assets of the company. If the company fails to repay back the amount of debenture holder or the company makes default in pay, paying the interest, the debenture holder will have a charge on the assets of the company. In which type of debenture? Secured debenture. Unsecured debenture means the debenture holders does not have any charge on the assets. If the company does not pay principal amount, does not pay interest, simply it has to wait to get the money along with other, other creditors. But they don't have any security. So in this way, secured and unsecured. Permanence. From permanence point of view, redeemable, irredeemable. Redeemable means the dependence which will be taken back by the company after the specified period. At the time of issue, the company will declare that this debenture will be redeemed after 15 years, after 10 years. So period is given. This is called redeemable debenture. When the company does not specify any period, it is called irredeemable debenture. The company has not promised to take back the debentures. But according to the provisions of the Companies Act 2013, a company cannot issue irredeemable debentures. Earlier it was there. But according to Companies Act 2013, no company can issue irredeemable debentures and no company can issue redeemable debentures which are redeemed after 20 years. That means every company can issue debentures which are redeemable below 20 years. Next comes priority. On the basis of priority, first debenture, second debenture. <coughs> that means whenever the company pays interest or repaying the capital, repaying the amount lent, that will be done first to first debenture. Only after making the payment to first debenture holders, if the amount remains, then only amount will be paid to second debenture. Next one is conversion. From conversion point of view, we have convertible debentures and non-convertible. Convertible debentures means there is a provision in the debentures that these debentures can be converted into shares after a period of time. So it is convertible. If no provision is given regarding convertibility, it is called non-convertible debenture. Last one, recording point of view. From recording point of view, debentures can be classified as registered and bearable. Registered debenture means those debentures whose name, address, details will be maintained by the company. The company will maintain a register, record of all the debenture holders data, complete details. So according to registered debenture holder only interest will be given. Second one, bearer. Bearer is a naked debenture. The company will not maintain any record of the details of debenture holders. That means these debentures are simply transferable by mere delivery. One person to another person, merely by delivery it will be transferred. There is no registration. The company will not maintain the data. So how interest will be paid? Coupons will be attached to the debentures. So whoever holds the coupon, to him interest will be paid. That's all. So in this video, I have explained you about the meaning of the term debentures, features, the differences and also what are the different types of debentures. Watch the video twice, thrice. Then only you will get the confidence in writing an examination boldly. So uh, the next video, the next topic will continue in the next video.